two small metal wanderers, each no larger than a compact car, are now adrift at the furthest edge of the cosmic ocean. And what they've found out there has forever changed the way we see our place in the universe. Nearly 50 years ago, humanity launched two daring mechanical explorers into the unknown, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Their task, to journey farther than any human creation had ever gone before, carrying not just tools for science, but also the hopes of an entire planet. Along with their cameras and sensors, they carried a golden gift, a record etched with greetings, music, and the sounds of Earth meant for anyone or anything who might someday find it. Over decades, they passed Jupiter's violent storms, skimmed Saturn's glittering rings, and pressed onward toward a boundary no spacecraft had ever crossed, the point where the sun's influence fades and the great expanse of the galaxy truly begins. This boundary is called the heliopause, the shifting edge of a vast bubble blown into space by the sun itself. This bubble, the heliosphere, is formed by a constant outpouring of charged particles, the solar wind racing outward faster than the speed of sound. For decades, scientists could only guess what lay beyond this invisible frontier. Would it be silent, hostile, familiar, alien? The voyagers were the first to see for themselves. What they discovered was nothing like the gentle crossing we imagined. It wasn't slipping quietly into calm waters. It was smashing through a stormy, chaotic coastline where two immense cosmic winds collide. And then, the shock. They encountered what could only be described as a wall of fire. Not made of flames, but of plasma so superheated it was tens of thousands of degrees hotter than the sun's surface. But space is nearly a perfect vacuum. So despite the staggering temperature, there weren't enough particles to transfer that heat to the spacecraft. It was like holding your hand inside an oven, blistering hot, but not deadly. Beyond this blazing veil came another surprise. Scientists expected the magnetic field of interstellar space to sharply differ from the suns. Instead, it was almost perfectly aligned, hinting that our solar system and the galaxy beyond might be more connected than anyone had imagined. This revelation forced researchers to rethink how stars interact with their surroundings, and whether the sun's influence reaches far deeper into the Milky Way than we believe. The Voyagers also shattered the idea that the edge of our solar system is a clean, stable line. Instead, they revealed it to be alive, expanding, contracting, and rippling in response to both the sun's activity and the galactic forces pressing from outside. The heliosphere behaves like the surface of a living organism, swelling outward during intense solar cycles and retreating during quieter ones. Outside forces, the thin mixture of dust, gas, and magnetic fields that make up the interstellar medium constantly push against our bubble, reshaping it. The result is a distorted, shifting shield, not a perfect sphere. This means the solar system is not neatly enclosed, but more like a weathered balloon sculpted by cosmic winds. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the transition wasn't smooth. It was abrupt. Particle densities, temperatures, and magnetic fields changed sharply as though the spacecraft had stepped through a door into an entirely different reality. This crossing didn't just add new details to our cosmic map, it forced us to redraw the entire concept of the map itself. This single discovery carries enormous consequences, not just for astronomers and space scientists, but for every living thing on Earth. You see, the heliosphere is far more than an invisible bubble at the edge of the solar system. It's our planet's first and largest shield, a protective barrier that stands between us and the most dangerous radiation the galaxy can hurl our way. Without it, Earth's surface would be constantly bombarded by high-energy cosmic rays, subatomic bullets accelerated to near light speed by distant supernovae, black holes, and other violent cosmic events. These particles can slice through living tissue, tear apart DNA strands, and cause mutations that lead to cancer or genetic damage. Over time, an unshielded Earth could become an environment far less hospitable to complex life. But the Voyagers revealed a chilling truth. This barrier is not fixed, not constant, and not invulnerable. It's a living, breathing shield, and its strength can change over time. When the heliosphere is strong and inflated, it acts like a thick wall, deflecting most of the incoming cosmic rays before they ever reach the inner planets. But when it contracts, or its outer layers weaken, more of these lethal particles are able to slip inside. That means that the level of radiation reaching Earth and everywhere else in the solar system is not always the same. For astronauts, this is far more than a scientific curiosity. In the relatively well-protected environment of low Earth orbit, like the International Space Station, Earth's own magnetic field still provides substantial shielding. But once a spacecraft ventures beyond that magnetic cocoon toward the Moon, Mars, or beyond, it's exposed to whatever the heliosphere allows in at that moment. A weakened heliosphere Sphere could dramatically increase the radiation dose astronauts receive, shortening safe mission durations, or even making certain trips too risky without heavy, expensive shielding. This variability also plays out on a planetary scale. Over geological timescales, changes in the heliosphere's size and strength 
may subtly influence Earth's climate, scientists have found evidence suggesting that when more cosmic rays penetrate the inner solar system, they can increase cloud formation in Earth's atmosphere, which in turn affects global temperatures and weather patterns. This means the breathing of the heliosphere, its expansion and contraction, might be linked to long-term climate fluctuations, acting as a kind of cosmic metronome shaping the rhythm of life on our planet. Even for robotic probes, timing is everything. Future deep space missions, whether to the outer planets or into interstellar space, will need to account for the heliosphere's shifting defenses. A spacecraft crossing the heliopause during a weakened phase would encounter higher radiation levels, affecting both its electronics and its longevity. For human missions, the stakes are far higher. A crew en route to Mars during a period of heliospheric contraction Action, could face double or triple the radiation exposure compared to a mission launched during a stronger phase. And here's the unnerving part. The forces that control the heliosphere's behavior are largely beyond our control. The sun's own activity cycles, which swell and shrink the bubble, are predictable only to a point. Beyond that, the interstellar medium, the galaxy's turbulent sea of gas, dust, and magnetic fields, constantly presses against the heliosphere from the outside. Large-scale galactic events such as passing through dense interstellar clouds could compress the bubble dramatically, leaving our solar system exposed to higher levels of radiation for centuries at a time. The Voyager's findings don't just deepen our understanding of space, they change our understanding of survival in space. The heliosphere is not a static fortress. It's a dynamic, shifting front line in a cosmic battle we didn't even know we were fighting until now. And because it is alive, moving, and changeable, our future in space, and perhaps even the history of life on Earth, may be more tightly bound to this invisible shield than we ever imagined. The Voyagers taught us that our solar system isn't an isolated island sealed away from the galaxy. It's part of a vast, dynamic ocean where invisible tides can reshape our borders without warning. Today, August 4th, 25, both spacecraft are still out there, their power fading, their voices growing faint. Soon they will fall silent, but their journey will never truly end. Their golden records still spin in the dark, carrying the greetings of a small, curious species who once dared to reach beyond its home star. They've shown us that the edge of our world isn't the end of the story. It's the beginning of an even greater one. The universe is vast, its mysteries endless. And as the voyagers drift onward into the deep, they leave us with one final message. The next step is ours to take. The call of the cosmos is still out there, waiting.